Okay, let's try this uh, relatively fun simulation called electric field hockey, in which I have a positive puck, which I can make it negative if I want. So now we have a negative puck, negatively charged puck. And let's just make this puck positively charged. So we have a puck here, and our goal is to hit it and reach the net shown here. In the upper right hand, I have a bunch of positive and negative charges. So let's pick a positive charge and put it here, and we have an electric field associated with it. Each charge, whether it's positive or negative, has an electric field. For a positive charge, we have a field force, electric field force, which is pointing outwards. And if I replace this positive charge with a negative one in the arena, we have a negative charge in which we have a vector electric field pointing inward. And you can see if I put a positive and a negative charge right here, we could see the positive and the negative charges are attracted by each other. So let's reduce the clutter for a moment and see how it acts on the positively charged puck for the positive charge. So as I move closer and closer, to the positively charged puck, you can see that there's a force acting on it that's moving away from the positively charged. And as you know, you'll learn in physics that positively charged particles repel each other. And you'll learn in physics that I get closer and closer, the amount of force or the length of this vector force will be directly inversely proportional to the squared of the distance between those two. So here we have a repelling force and then if I get a negative charge particle you could see I have an attractive force and as I get farther and farther the attractive force gets weaker again the attractive force for this negative charge uh, particles with this pos acting on this positively charged puck will be inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So as, it, as I get closer and closer, the amount of force shown here gets larger and larger. Again, you'll learn in physics that the distance between them will increase the force. So the force, in other words, is directly inversely proportional to the distance squared between them. Okay, let's start simple and see if we can get this positive puck into the goal. What I'll do is I'll take a negative charge because I know it's going to be attracted. I'm going to place it behind this net. And then we'll start. So let's see. And you can see the, the field that is heading toward this direction. So we can do that. And then start. And you can see it's being attracted by the negative charge. And we hit the goal. I'm going to reset this, clear the arena, and then put a positive charge. And what do we expect? We should expect these charges, since they're alike, they're going to repel. And so it's going to move away from the net. So let's start and just show you the field first. And you can see it's moving away from the net, the electric field. So let's start. And you can see it moves away. Okay, let's try this electric field hockey where we have an arrangement of positive charges as shown here. I have a positive hockey puck so it should repel against these positive charges. I have an electron right here and it should be attracted in this direction but we're not sure if it's going to go through and hit the goal right here. So let's just try it and see what happens. And you can see it didn't quite get through to the goal and it escaped. And let's see why. I'm going to pause for a moment and then uh, show you the electric field. And you can see around this area it's pretty random. It doesn't definitely go into this path toward this goal here. So our best bet is to add an electron around here. And you can see it's more directional here. And then hopefully the momentum will carry it toward this negative electron at this goal right here. So let's try it. I'm going to 
get rid of the fields just to reduce the clutter and I'm gonna reset it and then we're gonna start and voila success we hit the goal just for fun I made an arrangement of positive charges and negative charges so I can hit the goal by going around the net and after a little few iterations of rearranging the positive charges and the negative charges I was able to do that as shown here and the electric field <laughs> 